Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done a course vlog. I, I taped this course vlog uh, last week, around last week, and I wanted to get it up, but I wanted to do a little intro before I put the video up. Uh, I didn't really get to say much while out in the course, but um, what you'll see is uh, my friend was in town uh, before he goes back out on tour. He plays for, uh, I think it's the National Professionals Tour or, or something like that, uh, last year he was the top money winner on that, and this year they've decided on that tour to give away to the top five money winners on that nationwide exemption. And that's very important because last year he was the uh, top money winner, and this year hopefully he can do it again so he can get that nationwide exemption. He's, he's on his road to, to the PGA Tour. Uh, but he was in town. I had a chance to go film some of him swinging and, you know, some of me swinging. And uh, we played with some interesting people. Two other people uh, that we played with, they challenged him. Uh, another couple of his friends challenged him to uh, scramble those two versus him. And uh, they were able to keep up pretty well. And I think they beat him the day before. But um, uh, his name's Tony Finau, by the way. Uh, if you look him up. Um, he's been a professional golfer for quite some time and he's only 22 years old. So check him out, Google him. Uh, you can find some more videos on him. I know he plays here at a nationwide event every year, uh, in Utah, but, uh, got a chance to go out and play around with him. We only got to play 14 holes, but through 14 holes, he had four birdies and one bogey. He had four more holes left to play, but uh, it was getting late. And so, you know, through 14 holes, that's pretty good. Uh, being three under when we were done. Uh, the other, one of the other guys we played played with, um, I'll have to look up his last name. His first name was Rocky. Uh, I'll have some video you guys will see. He holds the Guinness Book World Record for the longest drive backwards. He stands backwards and it's so weird. I don't even know how he does it. I think his drive was like 340 yards or something like that backwards. Uh, and he played golf better backwards than he did forward. So uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, on a par three, he hit a five, a four iron regular, and then he took a five iron out and hit it farther than his four iron and closer to the pin. Uh, it just was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So look out for that. Uh, he's on this video. Uh, and then um, him and a, a buddy of his were challenging Tony to the to the scramble. Uh, but anyways, it was pretty interesting playing with them. Uh, you'll see Tony, uh, he had in, injured his ankle the night before, so uh, you'll see him come off of a couple uh, uh, of his swings to protect that ankle, but uh, he was out playing. I guess it wasn't too bad. He was just trying to stay, keep his weight off of it, so when he swung through, he kind of just stepped off of it, but he was still able to hit the ball straight and, and uh, you know, was still able to be three under through 14 holes uh, with a injured ankle and then he's actually his first tournament is this week uh, this this weekend uh, April today's the 11th I believe and his first term is this weekend in that nation tour if you guys want to check his results out you can just go to the uh, it's sponsored by Eleanor Palmer you can just google it I'll have the have a link below to that to that tour and it, he's a really good player uh, he's just trying to make his way to uh, to to that tour. Uh, he won the Utah State Am at 16, um, uh, I think, and and I'll look this up, but I think he played Daniel Summerhays, who's who is uh, uh, on the PGA Tour now. He played Daniel Summerhays in the final uh, day of the State Am uh, head-to-head -head and beat him. But you know that's back before any of them were professionals, but. Uh, he has other titles, and he's played in, I think he said, four PGA events and three nationwide events. Uh, so he's been around on the tour, uh, but he's trying to work his way up to have full status on the tour. Anyways, check him out. Check this video out. Uh, it was fun playing with him. Uh, he's really lax, as you'll tell. He's in jeans and a T-shirt. Um, just part of his, uh, his culture. He's just really lax. Um, it was fun playing with him, though. It was fun seeing him. It's been a while, uh, but he's busy trying to, you know, make his life on the tour. Um, anyways, uh, enjoy the video and subscribe above and come back. And thanks for watching.
Jeez. Good shooting, Tex.
look at this. Damn. It's straight. Get close. Is it on? Or the bunker? Keep my bed, mine's bad. I think it's a little stiff for me. Yeah. The big boy's up. You see that? Yeah. You dropped it right in the slot and trusted that, that turn. Felt, that felt good. Whoa, you nailed that. Relax. 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 